Hey, have you ever been afraid? I mean, like really afraid, not like a scary movie like Freddy Krueger, Jason, alien, predator, scared, but like, like really scared. Like maybe not for your life, but maybe for the life of someone else. Maybe you are in a situation where someone is sick and you're afraid that they may die or become incapacitated. They're suffering from some ailment or condition that will, well, either put them in a wheelchair or in a bed or worse, maybe die. And we get overcome by this fear, right? We get we get immersed in what we call this fear that well, it kind of paralyzes us and overwhelms us and and we become lost in the middle of it. And, and I go back to the scriptures and I relate to Peter sometimes because Peter would open his mouth and stupid would fall out, right? And then he'd have to say, sorry about that. And, and I, I think of him when he's in the boat in the middle of the sea and there's a raging storm. And Jesus comes walking over and he gets out of the boat. He says, Jesus, that's you. Tell me to come to you. And Jesus says, come. He jumps out and he's walking on water. Wow, right? That doesn't sound very... But then he takes his eyes off Jesus and he starts to sink. And he's fearful. He cries out. He's going to drown. And Jesus reaches down and pulls him up. And then there's uh, the time when Jesus is arrested and he's before the Sanhedrin going through this trial before the Jewish leaders and Peter is around this fire with all these people and they start saying, hey, aren't you with Jesus? He's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. And three times they're like, hey man, you're with Jesus. And finally he starts to curse and yell and scream. And he's fearful because he's fearful for his life that he's going to be arrested and have to face what Jesus is facing. Have we been there with that fear? But here's the thing. Jesus never left him alone, right? When he was in the water, Jesus reached down and pulled him back up. After Jesus' crucifixion, he came to Peter and said, Peter, do you love me? Three times he asked him. The same number of times that Peter denied him that night when he was going through his ordeal. Jesus doesn't leave us, right? And so many times in scripture, Jesus says this to the disciples and to others, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because I am with you. I will follow you where you go. I will be in the midst of where you are, in the midst of your circumstances, in the midst of all the trouble, uh, the bankruptcy, the divorce, the addiction, the lost children, the lost parents, the death, right? All of that stuff. I am with you in the midst of it all. Do not turn your eyes away from me. Have faith because I am with you. Don't be afraid. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.